Hey guys, uh, so today on this video, I'm gonna be changing out some valve seals on a 2004 Dodge Dakota 4.7 liter Magnum. Should be able to work for any of the Magnum series motors. There are some really great tutorials out there elsewhere and I always encourage to look at other people's videos. So I'll be using these valve seals. I believe they're off of Mal. I got them from rockauto.com and I'll try to get a link in the description for you on those. Uh, one of the specialty tools that I'm using uh, I got from this Crunchy Son out of Florida. He made this tool in order to do the Magnum motors uh, with their overhead cam. Uh, makes it so that you are able to use both of your hands at the same time to put in the valve speed re retaining clips, which is awesome. A uh, little shameful plug is this light here that you're gonna see me use when I take off the brake booster. Uh, I really like this light. Nago gave it to me because I did some sort of spray gun review some time back, and I guess it's a little thank you, but I actually do enjoy this light. I will put a link in the description uh, for this light as well to an Amazon link, and I hope you enjoy this video. So some other things you might need is a 10 millimeter socket uh, to take off the plenum and the coil packs, a 13 millimeter socket for the alternator cable, a 15 millimeter socket medium to deep well for the brake booster, along with a 12 millimeter, plot, uh, 12 millimeter wrench in order to take off the brake lines, as well as an 11 millimeter wrench to take off the brake, uh, the battery leads, small pry bar and a large screwdriver to put on the rocker arms, as well as a spark plug socket to take off the spark plugs. Leak down tester is what I used in order to, and a compressor to, in order to keep the valves up, uh, as you'll see later, and as well as a neodymium magnet to take the valve spring uh, retaining clips out, and some grease to hold the valve spring retaining clips in along with your valve spring compressor tool. I believe these are all the other things. If not, you'll probably see what else is needed. Also a 21 millimeter deep well socket, half inch drive to assist you in turning the motor over. So you may be able to get the cam in position to remove the rocker arms and that'll help getting all the rocker arms out will help make it easier for you to just apply compressed air and keep the valves up at that point.
Okay, finally got it. So I just ended up getting that last one, pulling it right off of there. And I tucked it underneath the valve cover right by the exhaust manifold. So on all your other connectors, that might be hard to see. And I can see it. All right, all done, blowing it out. Go through. They look to be 10 millimeter maybe. I need a deep well because I have that one. Uh, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six on the top. And down here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, something like that. 12, 13, maybe. We'll see. All right, I got all the bolts loosened up. There was one way back here on the bottom. You can get it with a short well and a shorty. So I think there was really actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them. All right. All right. Don't mind the wood right here. <laughs> it's just a way to prop all this stuff up. It's all, got all the bolts loose. I'm gonna see if I can get her out. See what happens, you know? Sometimes it takes a minute to figure out how to break the seal on these suckers here. Without damaging it. Seems like it's coming up all right. Had worse. Yep, there you go. Came up nice. All right, it's getting there. It is getting there. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Okay. Now, this is a conundrum and a half. Feels like I just don't have enough room to get this out. Break booster. All right. Maybe there's a special trick that I don't know about. That doesn't help. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Suckers in my way. All right, I'm gonna think about it for a second, then I'll come back. Okay, so since that brake booster is kind of in my way, I'm gonna take a minute, but I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen up that brake booster from the inside. There's four bolts. I'll show them to you when I when I do it. Uh, that way, I can just kind of push it on out of the way. I think I need just about an inch um, to clear. That inch will, will should give it to me. This that way I don't have to buy O-rings and all that other crap and because I might as well replace all the O-rings if I take out the fuel rails and I'd have to also do this side too. Not that it would be too much and maybe I should just do it since I'm right here. Uh, but I think um, my first priority is to fix what's damaged versus trying to repair what's not broken. All right, I'll catch back. All right, guys. So... You're being, all this light is from that NACO light, I know. Shameful fucking plug, shameful plug, but whatever. So, got a four of these all right here. And you also have this little clip here that holds this on, which I will take off um, that way. Oh my God, it looks like it's a screw almost, but no. It looks like it's just this, this plug like this or something like that, I don't know. Oh, I see. You gotta lift this up high for this little bulb to slide over. So then you can slide it down and out of the way. So this has got to pick up, then you push it down that way. So I need a, sorry, excuse me, I'll get a screwdriver real quick. All right. Oh, my fucking knees. Oh, my knees. All right, 
So, just pull it down like that over. See how that's over the bulb? Done. Don't lose it. And that, well, I'll take care of that. Right? And this is this. That's it for that. So, that'll be free, and I'm going to back these up all the way. I have, like, no room because I have these bushes right next to me. Oh, that sucks. That's what happens when you, you get a too fucking broke to do anything. Send it to a mechanic. I'd rather have pay the fucking thousand dollars at this point. these two things from uh, uh, that might not work uh, oh I think that might work ah there we go this is for me before trying to figure some other stuff out so don't worry about that lobe's got to be up and just two things get some leverage boom and this sucker comes out all right and this comes out just like that to keep the valve up I'm using this uh, cylinder differential pressure tester. Uh, these things are really specifically to do a leak down test, but I'm using this to keep the valve up. I'm keeping about 90 pounds of pressure on it, and I'll be using on this side, 90 pounds. So I'll adjust till I get about 80, actually between 80 and 90 pounds. Okay, yeah, so now I have it threaded, just threading it in there. See, that's snug, and I'm just up here, and I just give it one little yank like that, two, and that should be good. You don't want to be way down there and get it all jacked in there. You just need enough for the the, um, the O-ring, the seat, and for pressure not to go by. Okay. Cylinder three, seventy-five, and seventy-two. So I got the first and second one done down this bank and I'm on the third one right now. So I'll tell you why that brake booster needed to go because you're going to need the room to do this stuff.
hole is a little bit bigger than the old one. Not by much, but a little. And it's really, really tough and hard. Well, this one is nice and soft. So I'm taking one of these and I'm just kind of dipping it in some motor oil before I put it in. That way it's lubricated on the inside. Well, So it might blow a little bit of smoke when I first start it up, but you know what? I feel like it needs that lubrication because there's a shaft or something in there. Down there. Down on yonder. Come on. Folks up. That shaft has got to go over that, so maybe a little bit of uh, lube will help. Notice it has those ribs there. Also notice it has uh, a bevel. I'm believing the bevel goes down. I wouldn't see why it would go up. So in a sense, these on the inside. All right. back in this bulb side goes on the lifter that goes on the valve stem so, so what I did was I kind of came in from the top right I put that on and then I kind of have this position like this where this is about to go on top of it oh there we go we got it so one thing to note on this is you might as well just go ahead and remove that power, that uh, brake booster. Because you get these back ones here, the last two cylinders, it is, uh, it would be a nightmare 
it was very easy because I had all this other room down here to just have my hands to be able to get the, um, the valves down here out. Top ones wouldn't be so bad, the intakes, but the exhaust ones would have been terrible. Got all my rockers back in, essentially something to do it before up here. But for a trick, a nice screwdriver for the top for the ones that you push down on top, like for instance, this the all the um all the exhaust ones, and then the ones from the bottom, use like a little angle prop plier like that, pry bar like that, and you can get all of them. I just oiled down the lobes, um, and I think I'm ready to put everything back. I cleaned up the edges. So, and I have my new gasket over here on my valve cover. And so there we go. Let's get this done. Yeah. 